Robots are taking over the hospital. It sounds like a horror movie, doesn't it? We got Tim Hay in the Wall Street with the Wall Street Journal out in um, San Francisco. Tim, tell us about this. Well, uh, what we're, the robots have already taken over healthcare. Maybe not taken over, but they already have a very uh, solid presence in the healthcare system all over the place. What we're talking about today are uh, a new breed of robots that are sort of uh, more blue collar. These are robots that cart around linens and medications. They basically run errands. They do grunt work. It's a little bit ironic because they have incredibly sophisticated brains, um, sonar, laser, all kinds of sensors built into them. And what they do is um, sort of a minimum wage kind of job. It's interesting. And Tim, how many of these are we seeing now? Right now, there's uh, fewer than a thousand are actually deployed in hospitals, but there are sev several big factors are lining up to that make it uh, apparent that the, the deployment is going to get much larger very quickly. One of the reasons is that one of the top robotics companies in the world, um, iRobot, based in Massachusetts, is facing a, um, a cash crunch from one of its main customers, the military, as military spending is often uh, being cut on Capitol Hill. They're afraid that their top, one of their top customers, might be scaling back, and so. They're looking for a new line of business to get into, and they've decided on healthcare. They've partnered up with a startup company to start rolling out these service robots much more aggressively into the healthcare sector. The company they're working with is called InTouch Health. They already have a decent footprint in the healthcare industry, but iRobot is going to drastically expand that. Now, there's a quote in your story. It says, my guess is that in five years, there will be 10 times the number of robots deployed in, in hospitals than there are today. That's Don, uh, Donald Jones, Managing Director at Draper Triangle Ventures. That, that is quite a lot. Is it actually cheaper to have robots than people? Yes, so they say. It's the same old argument that's been used for a long time. They don't get sick. They don't take cigarette breaks. Uh, and um, they do what they're told. Lauren's just like that. She never gets sick and she never takes <laughs> cigarette breaks. Um, I'm not a robot. Lauren, you're safe for now. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I think uh, there might be some healthcare personnel that might be a little bit concerned about what this means for their jobs. Absolutely. Yes. That's an important conversation that uh, should probably be had anytime any industry becomes more automated. Exactly. Jobs are lost because of this. Uh, there's a couple of important things to point out. First of all, hospitals nowadays essentially have no choice but to really cut costs. There are a lot of reasons for that. They are really under a lot of pressure. Another thing in the case of these service robots is that the, the, the workers they are replacing would be, um, I would assume minimum wage because what these robots do is really carry medications, carry linens. They go from point A to point B. And um, they, they, there's also some other functionality that they have, but I think it's important to, to point that out. Mm -hmm. They're not going to replace the doctor who sits at your bedside and talks with you about your condition, things like no, that. At least it, I hope not. No, it's amazing. There's a, a, a tremendous amount of technology in, in a hospital these days. Uh, for instance, you know, your CAT scanning equipment, I mean, you know, and, and things like that, M MRIs, which cost millions and millions of dollars and they have to keep running all the time, right? So, I mean, are the only people left in the hospital going to be the, the, the nurses, the emergency technicians and the doctors? Is that, is that what it's going to be in the future? They're hoping to cut costs by replacing a certain number of employees with robots. The manufacturing industry did this decades ago mm -hmm. on the assembly lines with automatons. To save money and the healthcare industry is the next big sector that's looking at doing something like that but the difference is nowadays these will not be automatons uh, because of all the development that's gone into smartphones and tablets these are going to be robots rather than automatons these things actually right. have a brain they can react in real time to things going on around them in the hospitals where they're used sometimes uh, kids can't resist but jump in in front of one to see what's going to happen or, or messing with the I, robots, and they I, actually react. They stop. They they won't hit a person. It's it's pretty interesting. They won't hit a person. Well, you see, that's that's a good thing already. Thank you very much, Tim Hay.